hello friends welcome back to the channel in previous video we have uh, learned one bracketing method that is uh, bisection method in this video we will learn another bracketing method that is called false position method or also known as regular falsi method now what is bracketing method that we have already discussed right so in bracketing method root is lie between the bracket between the given bracket so let's see how this method will work so let's say if we plot So let's say if, if particular function f of x is given by this curve right and its limit is given x equal to a is its lower limit x equal to b is its upper limit so if we want to find out the coordinate of this point so we can write it like this coordinate of this point is its x coordinate is x equal to a because let's say its x coordinate its, its distance from its uh, um, from this y axis is a so x equal to a this is x equal to a so its x coordinate is a and its distance from x axis is derived from putting this value x equal to a into this function right so that is f of a so coordinate of this point is given by a into f of a similar way coordinate of b its x coordinate is x equal to b and its y coordinate is when you put b into this function it will become f of b so these are the coordinates of its uh, these two points all right and this is our real root now what this method suggest when you connect this two point a f of a and b f of b let's connect this two point a f of a and b f of b an intersection of this straight line with x axis will give you the new approximation for the root or a false root also known as xr false root right so ultimately what we are doing here we are replacing this curve with a straight line and find out its intersection with x axis that will be our new approximation right so this method in this method a different approach So a little bit different approach is used to find a new approximate root XR also known as a false root by joining these two point A F of A and B F of B. Uh, one of the condition for bracketing root is the uh, multiplication of F of A into F of B should be less than zero.
so intersection of this line this straight line with x axis represent improved estimate of the root so this is our improved estimate xr right so at the end of the first iteration we will find this root xr So by replacing this curve with a straight line gives a false position of root. Hence this method is known as false position or regular falsi method. It is also known as an interpolation method. Now we will derive how to find this uh, uh, value xr or uh, false root xr or new approximated root xr. So using this similar triangle this triangle and this triangle or even we can uh, take the slope of this line let's say this is point A this is point B and this is point C if we take a slope of line AC that is M1 and slope of line BC that is M2 since both the line are same since both the line are same the slope would be same so by comparing slope ac is equals to bc or m1 is equals to m2 now we know the definition of slope slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so here in this case this point has a x coordinate equal to xr and y coordinate is 0 since it is lying on the x axis isn't it this point is a x coordinate a y coordinate f of a and the this point is a x coordinate b y coordinate is f of b so for line ac let's take this point y2 minus y1 so y2 is f of a minus y1 is 0 divided by x2 is a x1 is xr is equals to for this line y2 minus y1 so f of b minus 0 divided by x2 so x2 is b x1 is xr so b minus xr right if we simplifying this uh, let's say multiply with this with f of a so b into f of a multiplying with this so minus xr into f of a this term multiplying with this a into f of b minus xr into f of b keep bring this term xr into f of b on left hand side and b into f of a on right hand side so xr into f of b minus xr into f of a is equals to a into f of b this will be negative this will be negative b into f of a bring out xr is a common term so xr into f of b minus f of a is equals to a into f of b minus b into f of a since xr is equals to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a 
so this is the equation for finding out the new approximated root using uh, regular falsi method so we will use this equation for finding the new approximation while solving using regular falsi method now let's talk about algorithm how to solve the problem using regular falsi method so first step define interval define interval a comma b such a that solution exist between a and b check f of a into f of b is less than 0 then compute xr using this formula we will remember this formula by just uh, writing this this way f of b minus f of a divided by f of b minus f of a since here it is a b write it over here a here it is a write it over b and the third how to swap the how to change the interval so if f of a into f of xr is less than 0 then root lies between a and xr and if f of a into f of xr is greater than 0 then the root lies between b and xr right so so this way we will follow the procedure for while solving the problem using regular falsi method i hope you understand this method now in, uh, in bisection method if you closely observe this uh, we will solve or we will find the new approximation c equal to a plus b by 2 simply the average of the uh, limit of interval but here it is a little bit different right so using this formula we will find the new approximation so ultimately what i am trying to say is this method is a little bit faster than the bisection method so that we will see while solving the problem uh, hope you understand the concept of regular falsi method do like share and subscribe to my channel for such more content and hit the bell icon for latest notification uh, till then goodbye